how to make these cool boxes. Come on, let's go. For this DIY, grab all your crafty things because you will need a ruler, a pencil and scissors, colored hard paper, I used two green ones to represent Christmas, pink for Valentine's, and blue for any random occasion. You need a toilet paper roll, colored pens for decoration, CD, scratch papers, and glue. I know I said you won't need it, but keep it handy in case you want to use it to attach your decorations, only if you prefer. The first DIY requires two hard papers, your hands and scissors. That's it. First, you want to fold the paper into a triangle and cut the excess in order to get a perfect square. And then do this to the other paper as well. After that, fold the paper on its opposite diagonal in order to form a cross in the middle of your square. Then take one corner of the square and join it to the intersection in the middle of your paper. Do this with the rest of the corners until you get a smaller square. Repeat the same steps until you get an even smaller square. Once that's done, you should have a paper that looks like this. As you can see, I'm simultaneously doing the same folds with the other paper in order to save time. So you want to open up the flaps and begin to fold one side towards the center. Then do the same on the opposite side. These would serve as the side walls for your box. To create other walls, you need to unfold the flap parallel to the wall like what I'm doing. After this, bring the diagonal to the diagonal of the flap as I am showing and connect it to the edge of the flap. Do the same thing on the other side and refold the flap to go inside in order to secure the wall. Repeat the same procedure on the other side and boom! You will have half of your box without using any glue or tape or any adhesive. Go ahead and make the other half of the box and you're done. No need to spend any money on this gift box. Just your mad skills and you're golden. I wanted to add something that will secure the box and some Christmas lovin', so I made a belt for it, again without glue, and a Christmas tree by using a strip of yellow paper and a red square art paper. I then measured out the perimeter of the box to make sure that the strip of paper fits. I cut slits at the area where I want the belt to connect and made sure that I only go halfway. I then drew out a Christmas tree on the red sheet of paper and cut that out to attach to the belt. I glued it on and I am now officially an elf. I think Santa will be proud of me. Moving on to the next DIY, this will require a bit more mathematical genius. So I bust out my brain, my pink paper, CD, pencil, scissors, and ruler. The first thing you want to do is to trace your CD on the pink paper and mark the center. Then grab your ruler and draw a straight line across the point you marked off. Draw another line crossing the one you just made to create four quadrants in the circle. It should look like pizza with four equal sizes. After that, just pick one quadrant and place the CD to the center where the tips or ends of the quadrant meets the curve of the CD. You will then trace that out and repeat the same steps you did with the first circle. The end result will look like two pizzas overlapping each other or a big number eight. After this, you will just draw or trace curvy lines connecting all four quadrants like I'm doing to finish your template. So then get your scissors and cut out the outline of your two pizzas. Once that is done, score the curvy lines you traced using a ruler. Then, fold the scored lines in to form the walls of your box. Also, don't forget to erase all the lines you drew inside the box so that when you give it as a gift, it'll still look presentable. Anyway, continue to fold, shape, and form the box until you're able to close it up. This box is really cute, especially for Valentine's because you can put chocolates inside and all that good stuff. Anyway, this box wasn't as secure as the first one, so it definitely needed a belt. I made one for it with the heart attached on top, and I think Cupid will be proud of me this time. For the third box we'll do, you'll need a toilet paper roll. All you gotta do with this one is press its mouth halfway in. Do the same thing on the other side and its opposite mouth. And yes, you are done, that's it. But I went ahead and designed the outside by making a wider belt. I wanted to make this box feel more organic and nature-like, so I used this flower that fell on the floor and some grass weeds, I don't know what these are. 
Anyway, I glued them on the belt and this would make a perfect gift box for your friends who likes nature or flowers or grass. I don't know. Yeah, so you may also draw on the belt patterns like maybe a zebra print like this one. It's up to you. And yeah, that's it for this DIY. Lastly, the one I'm about to make is not a box but an envelope. And yes, it also does not need any glue or any adhesive of some sort. Just get your blue paper and fold it into a triangle like we did in the first one to create a perfect square. Then, fold that in half and in half again to form a small square. Unfold this and take one side and fold it in towards the center of the paper. Unfold that again and take the same side to fold it into the crease you just made. And then fold that flap in towards the center of the paper. Go to the right bottom corner and fold it into a triangle and then do the same thing on the left side. After this, fold the triangles in and after that, fold two bigger triangles at the top corners. These will serve as the opening of the envelope. So you just want to slip that in and secure it. That's basically it. Of course, don't forget to put in the lovely note you're about to give to that special someone. You may also choose to write on the paper itself if you want to save some trees. However, your special person will probably need to figure out how to unfold that origami magic thing you just made. Anyway, there you have it. I hope these DIYs will help you save some money and inspire your inner artsy self. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!